Okay, this is how you route your contact outputs in FL Studio. First, open up the instruments of your choice. I'm going to add a piano, an electric organ, and an acoustic guitar. And you'll notice when I play the keyboard down here, you only hear the first instrument, which is a piano. So, go to this little gear in the top left corner and on your settings tab go to MIDI input port and side up to whichever number you want but I'm going to stick to port 0 then go to channels add one MIDI out if you go to channels add one and you don't see MIDI out here just click more and it will be in your list and all you have to do is double click it to open it now on your MIDI out you have to make sure your port number is set equal to the input port number in contact so since I chose 0 here for contact, I'm going to have 0 as my port number in MIDI out. And when I play the instrument, you'll hear the first instrument in contact, which is the piano. Now if I want my second instrument, which is the organ, I just take my channel right here and slide it up to 2, and I have the organ. And same for the guitar, I slide up to 3, and you have the guitar. So let's open up three instances of MIDI out since we have three instruments and set each channel accordingly so that now we have the piano, the organ, and the guitar. Now at some point you're going to want to add effects to these instruments and you can do it by going to contact here and using your FX square option on the top right corner but the problem with this is that any effect you add here will affect all of your instruments that you have open in contact and more likely than not you're going to want to independently affect each instrument so if you notice you go to MIDI out you don't have that FX square that you had in contact see it's here in contact but not in MIDI out so the way to work around that and have effects on each instrument is to go back into contact and add more channels which are down here and if you don't see that just press output at the top see no channels channels no channels channels so add a channel for the first effect I want a chorus on the piano so I'm going to name that chorus and I'm going to go to the configuration button at the bottom of that channel click it it says channel 1 not connected channel 2 not connected all you have to do to connect them is click not connected and choose KT aux 1 brackets 1 and then for the next one KT aux 1 brackets 2 and then click OK now go to the instrument within contact that you want to have that chorus effect on and for me I want it on the piano so I'm going to go to the output tab on the piano and slide down to chorus then go back to this gear up here and this time go to the processing tab and remember we chose KT aux 1 earlier so we're going to look at our input numbers and side up to whichever number we want. Now each number refers to the insert number in your mixer. So I'm going to choose insert number 1. And when I go to the piano now, you'll notice that when I play it, the sound is going to come out of insert 1 in the mixer. So if I want it in insert 2, for example, I just go back to contact and then slide this one up to number two and when I go back to my piano and play it you see the sound coming out of insert two and if I slide up to three you already know what's going to happen I'm going to have sound coming out of insert three so let's go back and put that to number one and since we want a chorus on it we go to insert one in the mixer and add the chorus. So now my piano has a chorus on it. So here's without the chorus and here's with the chorus. Alright, so now let's say we want a delay effect on the organ. In order to do that you have to go back into contact and for every effect you want you have to add a new channel. So I'm going to add a channel this time and call it delay and go to the configuration button and where it says not connected, I choose KT aux 2 this time. Before I chose KT aux 1, 
but now I'm going to choose KT aux 2 bracket 1 and KT aux 2 bracket 2. Each time you add one, a new channel, you have to make sure the number goes up one. Then click OK. And since I want that delay on the organ, I go to the organ within contact, go to the output tab, and slide down to the delay I just created. Go to the gear next, and make sure you're on the processing tab. And we chose KT aux 2. So now we're going to slide that up to insert 2 in the mixer. And when I go to my organ, you'll notice the sound comes out of insert 2. And so for the delay, I just add my delay effect here and I have the delay. And that's just on my organ because if I go back to my piano, it doesn't have that delay. So let's do one more example. For the guitar, let's add distortion to it. So we go back to contact 4, uh, add a new channel. We're going to call this one distort. Go to configuration where it says not connected, this time we're going to choose KT aux 3 uh, brackets 1, KT aux 3 brackets 2. Click OK, go to the guitar within contact, output tab, slide down to distort, go to the gear, we chose KT aux 3, so let's keep the pattern going and slide this up to number 3. So in insert 3 in the mixer, we'll add our distortion unit, and this is going to sound really ugly. But it's just an example. I'm going to choose this one. And when we go to our guitar now, you have a, a distorted sound. Right? And that's only affecting the guitar instead of affecting all of them. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. And thank you for watching.